Let me tell you something, bastard. Never forget what you are, the rest of the world will not. Wear it like armor, and it can never be used to hurt you. Welcome, guys, back. We're on episode... No, part two of episode two. Let's go. Where we left off, we was at the wall, and I presume we're meeting this guy on the screen. John Snow, the bastard. And that quote which I just read out was from Tyrion speaking to Jon Snow. Let's do this. Come on, I want to meet Jon Snow. I reckon he'll be fighting with us. Oh, he'll be in background. We'll see him. Oh, we're at the wall. 700 feet high. Brandon the Builder. Gary Tuttle. Castle Block. This is your destiny now. Castle Black. Castle so this Black. is the seat of the Night's Watch. Yep. Yeah. Let me in, I want to join. Let me in. I want to meet Ed. Pip Pin. No, not Pip. Pip. And I can't remember his name. Sam and John. Be awesome. The wall. Whoa. Always Recruit wanted to see it, gates. but not like this. <laughs> He's got his bracelet, amulet, whatever it's called. You're gonna sigh for line life away, um, bud. Where's John? I'm waiting to see John. Who's that, Lord Commander? We're gonna. This is our destiny now. There's nothing else. Your arrival, is it? Another one for Frostfinger. <laughs> On a horse, no less. I don't know any of these yet. Oh, it'd be cool if we could be on the wall. Well, he's a dick. <laughs> uh oh. Imagine that. You just look. You just keep going up. When it looks like it was built by giants, doesn't it? You're new here to take the black. Mm. Ah, you man. Got that look about you. Aye, I am. Thought so. I'm new here myself. That's cool. Frost. So you've got a friend. He's the one you want. Handles all new recruits. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. <laughs> yeah, so prune. The recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. You seem nice, bud. You fight like a girl. A wildling girl, maybe. <laughs> Gotta be fine. Sparring crows. John Crow. What is this battle? Huh. It's warm. A bit strange being it warm since it's cold outside. Well, freezing. Well, oh, he's got his fingers chopped off. <laughs> Davos. Is it Sir Davos? Your Frostfinger. You recruits. You come. You train. You fight. You die. Who are you, boy? Gary Tuttle. I'm Gary Tuttle. I'm Gary Nephew Tuttle. To Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of Ironrath. Gary Tuttle of Ironrath. And how does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the wall? You thief. A raper. I killed, I killed men two men. Who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. Yep. And you're no liar, either. Sir? Come on, cheer up. Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit. But then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. You are a killer. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now then, 
We'll start your training in the morning. Thank God we can become a ranger. You need a cot, a cloak. Understood. Gonna take the black. <laughs> Wearing the black armor. Oh, it's pretty cool to be fair. Sooner or later, the night's watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. He's an happy chap in it, in it. Better than bloody Fawn. If you like, say, if you watch series, you'll know bloody Alistair Fawn is. He's Lord Commander. He's right knob. Trophy and unfamiliar Last faces. Heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay. Ah, so he's made it downstairs. A ship headed for... They give us month-old bread. Yeah. There's fucking worms in it. The Lord Whitehill is about this. We should just take what we need. I'd rather die. Whitehill soldiers always starving. seem to be angry. Oh, it's and the Whitehill, isn't it? we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. They probably won't let me um, become lord. You know we'll what see. else? No fucking wine. Fuck the wine. There must be wine in the cellars. De Gaulle's locked him up tight, just like his own cunt. Talk a bit faster. He has no. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? Shut he's up. Hideous. He's had a run-in with Walder Frey, and he's leaning on a girl. You wait, we're slaying all them. We're going to slay where they stand. Don't let go of your sister now. Alright, dicks them. Who's that? We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> Oh, you think that's clever? Go around. Cleaning your bloody blade. Move, Move aside, aside soldier. soldier. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. I don't know if I want to get into like and a fight with this dude. There's no in this game, I'll probably end up dying. <clears throat> yep. I wonder what's weaker. Your legs, or this house? I'm the lord, the of, this lord house. of this house. And you will move. <laughs> oh, he's shitting himself now. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Go on then, my lord. I decided to move. Bye. Yay. Let's go. They say he'd never be able to walk again. He's walking. I know he's all on like, but if he can walk now and recover, he will recover. And he will fight and he will take them down. It's madness. You can't starve them out. not coddle our enemies. So you'd rather they riot? Both of you, please. These fight, are the main people. We'll fight. That's foolishness. It doesn't matter what you think. It's my decision as Sentinel. My lords. I'm alright, lads. I can walk. <laughs> My boy. She didn't like the other guy who got stabbed, Ethan. Come join us. Not as much as him. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. We are now the Lord. It's good. It's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking, if you walked again at all. It was highly probable. Let's get to Not business. To talk about my elf. Perhaps we should get started. Yes, let's. These, should, these two just argue all the time. Apps. Then you know our situation is grim. No thanks to your sentinel. He's riling up the Whitehill soldiers. They're our bloody enemies. You'll bring Lord Whitehill down on us, you fool. My lords, please. Oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay Sir Royland. Ethan made it clear I wasn't wanted. He needed you there. 
Now he's dead and Ryan's a hostage. Slam me off this down. Oh, I'm getting your angry now. Lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves when we should be fighting them. True. We need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Then and get an army. Sir Royal. That's no simple command, my lord. Most of our men fled after Lord Ethan was killed. And our allies are either dead or too afraid of the Boltons to help us. Hmm, what can we do then? You Sell swords the from this east. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. Don't go to oh. another goddamn wedding, well, please. Much has changed. We've already had Glenmore's one red, red wedding, no we don't want another. Union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! Why, Why is she, she coming, coming here? here? She means to pay her respects to your father. But it could also be a chance to solidify our arrangement. That's cool. If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes! His marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. Talking about a marriage, not an ironwood contract. Dahlia, those you have a point? point. I'm not the man I used to be. You can still make her happy, Roderick. And she can do the same for you. Shit, they noticed my lack of confidence. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd yes. rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute. Um, starve them out. <clears throat> yes, my lord. Stuff them. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. Maester, it's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. What's this mean? Welcome back, my lord. It's got to be back. See you later, Duncan. Can we go to the wall? I want to see John. Yeah, what's that? That's some, that's some magical stuff. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. Ah, must be worse guys. Foresters have a way. But now we light them for him. And Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. You're, You're doing great. You're a musician, Talia. I'll do a great job. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. Oh, we're going back down to King's Landing, I guess. Bet we're in King's Landing. Wait for it. No, we're seeing a tree at the moment. Yep, told you. Knew it. Trophy and strength ridiculous. of mind. Mira Forrester, King's flowers, Landing. It's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. We will make a large donation. A donation in the name of King Joffrey. A little presumptuous of you, Mira, but I like it. They'll be very grateful. Can we see Joffrey? I met Cersei in and Tyrion. The seal. Here you are. But we haven't met Joffrey yet. Boom. The Tyrell badge. Oh. Are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. I'm gonna say, was he? How are you?
I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Cheers, bud. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. He keeps appearing out of nowhere, him. What is it, Mira? Ethan's dead. It's from my mother. She asked that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah. It's my help she's after, isn't it? Yep. Who else? She's a bold woman. Most would shy away she from knows your such things. Of course. She knows you're very influential. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. We'll do it then. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. You pushed me before and you saw the results. I know. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. She's not going to help. But why? I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. Okay, bye. That's a bit crap. She could have helped. That's annoying. Wait, she's not going to lie, is she? If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter... Forge a letter to her, Elena Glenmore. Dear Lady Elena. Elena, yeah. whatever you call her. Dearest Lady Elena. Oh. <laughs> Shit's about to kick off here. She finds out, Marjorie, she's not going to be happy. She took the seal with her. Hopefully a signature will do. She knew that we were going to forge this. If not, she wouldn't have took that seal with you. Mira, Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Elena of House Glenmore. I've never heard of the Glenmores. I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. Go on. If you don't mind. What about? what about? Well, it's... We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with those? I've got them. What's up with you? Oh, unless you know Ethan's dead. I don't know why. We... She must already know Ethan died. We're at the wall. That sounds like the wall. Yes! Where's John? Still waiting to see John. He's in his armor. Seems to keep getting colder. They say it'll be a short winter is coming. What the oh, hell he's big. Fuckhead. You might be new here, but you're in my spot. Alright then. So move. Fuck I'm off. Moving. <laughs> no fucking answer. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger and his bloody speech. If you want to survive in the night's watch. Listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? Don't care. The wall was erected over 8,000... <laughs> it's actually there. No. And I don't care. You should. At this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. <laughs> Turned out she was married to some lordly. Uh -oh. tried to stick me with this. Yeah, that's a fine blade, isn't it? I was stuck in him instead. So next time I say move, you'd best fucking move. Nah. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. <laughs> what dire crime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? <laughs> you fuck potatoes. What? No. I stole them. That's what got me sent to the wall. You stole a couple of potatoes. Thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cutter the potato fucker. <laughs> for the songs. Oi, my sister was hungry. I 
I've got something for your sister. Let me tell you my story. Who in seven hells is talking back there? Oh yeah, it's like school this. They're back in school, these. Total. Who was it? It was Sorry, me. Sir. It was my fault. Covering for your new brothers already, are you? Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Yeah, shoot I a can bow. swing a sword. I can are shoot a bow. Strong? I'm strong. Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you. Frostfinger. It's John! I need a word. Oh, yes. It's Mint. Go on. Get started. He came out of nowhere. Yeah? John Snow. Oh, that's awesome. It's been me there. luck. Tattle. Come on, I just bloody said that me it was me were talking. Nah, you'll end up becoming mates with him. Here we go. Again. Bows up. See those dummies? Those are fens. Come to eat your brain. John Snow. Gotta be faster. Look at Castle Black. Demonstrate your Castle combat skills. Black. John Snow's there. So this is home now. I bet they're gonna watch me when I fight. Not quite. Ah, damn it. Um, practice. Well, get a sword first. Go to the sword rack then. All right. Oh, can I pick one? That one, that one, or uh, that one. So I have that or that. That's what. That's like John Snow's. That's a bit like. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I want that one. Actually. This one should do. It's a bit bloody jagged in it. of you today. Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. But a sword's still a sword. Oi oi! Jon Snow and that's gonna be watching this, you watch. Oh! Skills! Ooh! I nearly missed that then. Haha! <laughs> Well fought. Get off me, you bloody ox. You, you ox. got lucky. Told you they'd be watching. Shit. Is Jon Snow coming down? No, he's walking away. Pet the horse, because why not? We've got like no jobs since we've only just started, so it's pretty cool. What else is there? Can we shoot across? But practice on the dummies. You're doing that all wrong. But we don't have these. We're at. Ha ha! Shot himself in the bloody. <laughs> Let me show you. I don't think he cares about you showing him now. He's bloody shot himself in the foot. That would have been funny if I didn't do it then. All right, let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's ass. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Let's start right. easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. Shit, do I have to aim? You can follow orders at least. Yeah. Left target, head. Oh. Boom! 
Good. Right target. Chest. It's a bit shaky, Kev. This. Oh, I bet you best have said chest because I'm listening. Not bad. Centre between the eyes. What on right target? That was way off the mark. Oh shit! He said centre. Well, you're not a bad marksman. Ah, oh, well, it's just, he said I wasn't bad, so that's alright. Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him, ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. <laughs> oh, he took his sword. Right off him. Don't tell, alright? Oh, it's so. I don't take it kindly. I won't tell anyone. I knew I could trust you. They can seal the sword as well as potatoes. Potato! Right, what else is there? Who else is there to speak to then? Can speak to him. Uh, out over here. What's this? Yeah, I'm gonna look into the fire. The Lord, the Lord of Light summons us. Look at hallway. Can't wander off now. Not a frost finger watching. Ah, we'll go speak to him. I can look at him. Stop gawking, Tuckle. There's no else to do. I've done it all. Ah, I can lift some barrels. You there, recruit. Scrawny, aren't you? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the winch. What's in it? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. <laughs> right. Oh, I keep forgetting it's season this. four. Aye, I can do it. Want some help? <laughs> Look at him. It's just because he's like a bloody giant. There's like Drago, whatever he's called, a Rocky. Where are we even going with it? Okay, let's walk straight. Oh, come on, spam X. Boom. Don't hurt yourself, Tuttle. Yes, completely the stone challenge. Steward for you. Steward. Frostfinger washes cock. If the thing hasn't frozen off. Fuck off, Finn. Fuck off, Finn. Bloody ass. Mind your language, Garrett. I'm sorry. So sorry. He's watching carefully, him. Take a picture, it might last longer. You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't Guess even what? try. We've got your blade, man. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my. Haha! <laughs> Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. How should I know? I know. You were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and it was you. What? You little fucking thief. It were you little potato. <laughs> Give me my knife. I don't have it. I swear. Out don't hide behind way. me. Got it. Do something. Punch them. Oh, yes! This is the proper, um, like, proof that the guy up there. Shit, I missed. No, I didn't. Hey, look. Fight! Fight! Yeah, get here they go again. He's gonna be watching. Frostbite, whatever he's called up there. Ah, oh, that's probably why he's called back, because he lost his fingers. Oh, we're proper having him. Boom. Not so big anymore, are you? Get up. What is going on here? 
Jon Snow. Oh, my fucking knife. No, I didn't. And Garrett defended it. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. Oh, I bet he slipped it on Garrett. Must have hit it. <laughs> and you? I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training. What, so my fault? Another word. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger. Frostfinger. Man atop the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. <laughs> yes, I'd rather do that. Get off! Oh. Oh. You not so tough anymore. Him. Yes! I'm going with Jon Snow. This is Vin. Ah, it's awesome. He snuck it up his sleeve. Jon Snow. The watcher on the wall. I said, Mint. Just gets better, this. This way. <sighs> I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Well, it's a shit hole now. Remember, we come listen to the musicians in the evening. What did you want to talk about? What did you want to talk about? Car going up street? Just through here. What are you doing? You'll see. She got a gift or something. Queen Cersei's finest wine. Oh the hell, I won't take that. She'll have your head. Is there enough I for two? Got another one of those. <laughs> I never took you for a lash mirror. Well, I might as well, aren't we? Sadly, it's just the one. Oh the hell, ain't you got a glass? A little won't hurt. Ah, take a drink. Ah. <sighs> so, I uh. Come on, spit it out. I think this is why she's getting pissed, so that she can tell. Well, I just... Come on! I'm not very good at this sort of thing. It's not like Ethan's dead, is it? Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I, I promise. I won't tell a soul. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She became pregnant. It yeah. was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. I'm fortunate. Not wrong with that. I am. I know that. But you're from a noble house. Hide. Was your mother from a noble house? She must have been, to serve Lady Elena. Yes, though it's not well known. Distant cousins of the Tyrells, I'm told. They wanted nothing to do with me after my mother died. It's not really ought to worry about, though, is it? I'm... I'm so sorry, Sarah. <sighs> it's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. A family of my own. But without Lady Marjorie's help, I don't know how to make that happen. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe... Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might... suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it um, mean a lot. Of, of course, course I will. Thank you, Mira. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Here I am talking about myself. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother. I gotta admit, brother. these little bits here bore me. When you're this person. 
You need this more than I do. <laughs> yeah, I do. Hmm. A conspiracy of handmaids. <laughs> Tyrion came out of nowhere. My lord. Ladies. Let me have a drink. What have we here? A drink, my lord. Drink from that flagon. Care to join us? Of course hmm. he will. He won't refuse a drink. Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got it. brilliant. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't I took it. with me. I took the wine from the cellars. Aren't you full of surprises? I suggest bringing cups next time. <laughs> there are risks worth taking. Stealing wine from the Queen Regent isn't one of them. Especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Oh, Lord no. Whitehill. He's hired a Don't pair of him. merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the Ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man. You can't let that you happen. You can't let that happen. Why do you think I brought it up? It's awesome, Tyrion. He's a great beast. Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. <laughs> it might be the first fun I've had in months. Is there right, laugh, my lady? Treats everyone with respect and everything. She's still here getting pissed. Right, I sh oh, well, I think we'll end it on this note. If you've enjoyed the video, please like. If, if you really liked it, subscribe. If you haven't seen any more, we've got there's another four episodes to watch. Go watch them. I hope you enjoyed it. It's been Exile Legend here. See you later, guys. Have a good day.